Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4. We're going to be finishing up the DLC. We're in the Mechanist Lair, so let's go ahead and head on up here and do a little searching. Just one more thing, if you have a minute. Sure, go ahead. Oh, good. Um, Isabel. That's my name. Isabel Cruz. I just wanted to say I'm really happy, thankful that you've let me stick around here and in order to show you that i'm done with the past i want you to have this as a sort of promise i guess it's the mechanist suit i made all right mechanist armor uh reduces damage from robots by 15 percent thank you you're welcome there's one more thing a much bigger thing there are still robots out there. Lots of them. My communications are down, and I can't call them back. But I can tell you where they are, if you're interested. Sure. Great. Okay. Tracking something. Got it. it. Looks like only one signal this time. Still, no point in taking any chances, right? Your okay. Is a relief. I trust the outcome was what you wanted. I got her to see the truth. She's standing down. So the mechanist really was misguided. Did she reveal her motives and reasoning? You were right here! She truly wanted to help people. She didn't know what the robo-brains were doing. To her, a life saved was a life saved. A biological wild card. The unknowns are vast. She had to know the risk she was taking by creating them. Many good people endured suffering and death because of the Mechanist. It's a shame a mind as brilliant as hers allowed such atrocities to be committed. She had good intentions. She was simply misled. Even good intentions need checks and balances. Still, I now know that the death of my friends has brought about a safer commonwealth. Had the Mechanist's robots remained unchecked, I'm certain that damage would have been extensive. Halting, if not reversing, any progress that has been made here. With this knowledge, I am finally registering feelings of satisfaction and accomplishment. And I have you to thank for it. All robot mods unlocked. Did you just see that? All robot mods have been unlocked. That is insane. But we got the Restoring Order achievement. That's the last achievement for the DLC. But what we can do now... Is there is some loot and stuff. First, got to come in here. And right here is a blueprint for the iBot Pod schematics. So we'll go ahead and pick that out. I can now build iBot Pods. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's a trunk. Okay, I'll take it. Wait. Alright, drawing of the mechanist. This is... What is this? I don't know, but I'll take it. Bobby pins. Sentry bot model. Ooh, caps. 15 caps. What a stash. Okay, if you didn't know, right here there's a little button. You're going to go ahead and press that. It's going to open up this back here there's not anything real special in here but might as well come back here and grab this stuff there's a terminal there it's got a little bit of decent stuff in there but nothing too amazing there is a missile launcher i guess that's that's the biggest reward in my mind i guess the stem pack is my biggest reward because i don't even use rocket launchers ever so but there is that is there anything else you would think i wish in the game they would have like a vault or something that you could loot like a something anything i would take anything loot wise oh look a mini nuke i just wish that there was some type of like treasure room at the end like oh hold on i almost missed this spotlight schematics you can now build wall mounted mounted oh my gosh is that gonna take care of lighting Holy crap, we gotta go check that out. Let's go ahead and pick this lock.
There we go. Yes. Alright, I guess I should just take everything, because I could just store it, because we're going back to base anyway. What is my weight looking like? Oh, I got a lot of carry weight. Okay, let me go back and grab some of the stuff I didn't grab. Whoa. Why is there a random iBot here? Oh, because she's back there. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's just go ahead and loot all of this stuff. Anything and everything, we'll just loot. We'll just go ahead and loot. Because I've got the carry space. And I might as well take everything back with me. Because I think we're gonna need... If I'm gonna do a bunch of crafting of robots, then I'm probably gonna need all the crap I can get. Alright, move, Ada. Okay, everybody get out of my way. Is there anything out here that I'd want? No. Anything around here? Clipboard, I guess. We'll take that. Alright, I think that's good. I don't think I need to literally loot everything. I guess we can run around here and loot these parts off of these robots. Because they do have a lot of... Because these guys have a lot of robot and electronic related um, parts and stuff on them. So I guess this this is kind of smart to do this right now. There's some ammo over here. Twelve missiles. Like that, that crate right there that we just looked at. I wish they would have made like a room with that in it. So that you could, and you would, uh, it would be like random drops. So you could get like an amazing legendary gear, or you could, you know, maybe guarantee one like legendary gear in there, and then maybe put some other like random stuff in there, and uh, just have it completely beat by luck, but put some good stuff in there, and, and then it'd be, you know, you'd at least get like a loot reward at the end, but there's like nothing. My biggest loot here at the end was a freaking missile launcher. I guess the schematic for the iBot pod thing, but that's about it. Alright, I think we can head out. I don't think I'm going to mess with looting anymore. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's return to the surface. Then we can go back to base and check out a few things. I can make that iBot thing. It's all that you're going to... All right, there we go. Going down. Security screening room three. Okay, let me go ahead and just snag some of the loot around here. Okay, how do I get out of here? Wait, which way is the exit? That's not the exit, I don't think. I think it's this way. Oh goody, I can't... Oh wow, I missed a Nuka-Cola Quantum. How did I manage to do that? How did... How the heck did I miss that Nuka-Cola Quantum? How do you get in here? I guess, I don't know. There is loot in there. So I don't even get what I'm missing there. Okay, let's get on out of here. Head back to base, make the eye. This episode may be a little bit shorter. Um, because I'm not going to do. We're, we're going to do like a full episode of of just loot. Or not loot, of uh, building robots and stuff. So I'm not going to start that in this episode. But we are going to go back and take a look at a couple of things. Just loot. I'm trying to just loot a bunch of stuff on the way out here. Apple caps, not exactly what I'm... I'm just looking to find, like, anything. Because I might as well. Alright, out to the Commonwealth we go. I probably could have finished this in the last part and just made it a little bit longer, but... Oh well. One other... One extra episode's not gonna hurt anybody. 
Take aim army style. Guns and bullets. I'm looking forward to the middle DLC that I think is like priced at like 25 bucks. It's supposed to be pretty long and pretty like in-depth and really good. I'm looking forward to that to see how that one rolls and how that works, but... I was happy with this DLC. It was a little short, but I, I was I was content with the length and the DLC. Yes, it could have been longer and all that different stuff, but I don't think it was bad for for ten bucks. Even though ten bucks is kind of a that's kind of like the average DLC price, and some DLCs as a lot. But this game would load. We oh we're gonna have to sit through like three loading screens. Um, so we're going to, uh, we're going to be doing that build episode, and that might be it for things related to this DLC. Um, I'm just gonna run to my base. Okay, game. Why is this autosave frozen my game? Don't do this, Xbox. There we go. I hate when it does that. It gets stuck on this autosave screen forever. Oh, here we go. You can tell I'm coming up to my base because the epic lag is coming. I love this base, though. I just wish wish it was a little less laggy. Guess I can't complain. Okay, let me get out of my power armor. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lasts. Oh, you know what? I'm overweight now, son of a bitch. Oh, well. Trying to let's go out here first, cause I can store trash in this over here. Probably between episodes, I will go ahead and get some more power armors uh, frames so that I can set that up, and I'll show you guys uh, what all that looks like. But let's store. Got a bunch of weapons here. That pistol. Uh, give me that mine back. Set machine, okay. Did I pick up any? Yeah, I did pick up some armor. Muffled, enameled. Take the hat. Okay, I'm underweight now. I can run up. Alright. Let's move on up to the top floor. It's been too long since I picked a fight. I'm going to, uh definitely give you guys an update on uh the power armor collection in the next episode so i'll get that all and i'll get it all spread out so uh i don't have mixed matched armor on different uh sets so let's go ahead and we can store all of these mods there we go now i can store i'm not gonna store it all quickly i'm gonna look and make sure i don't put anything in there like the i want the gold so there's something that I am happy I didn't just... I don't need to keep the pack of cigarettes. I'll keep the pre-war money. I've got 71,000 caps. Like, I don't really think I need money. And I have, like, a junk drawer at uh, Sanctuary, I think it is, that is just completely full of stuff I could like it's just chocked full of weapons and all that stuff so if I ever need money oh give me this gold bag I had gold junk in there um what was I I lost my train of thought but oh if I ever need any money I should be all good to go I shouldn't need anything else uh let's go ahead let's go ahead and just edit Jezebel see what we can do here a little bit with her real quick Oh my gosh, look at all these helmets we've got now. I just want to quickly look through all the different stuff that we have. Robo brain torso, century torso. Okay, then it gets kind of restricted there. The heads, there's a ton. There's a ton of paint jobs. Uh, let's see here. Saltron legs, robo brains. Airport, eh? We going on a trip? Sultron. You just change up her torso real quick. Never 
Let's give her the assault. Should we give her the assault tron? Me? I'm very successful. <laughs> Looks so weird. I don't want to do. We're gonna go ahead and make stuff at my other base. That's what we're, we're gonna set up a new base in the next episode. But we do have this, the iBot pod. Uh, so we could put one of these over here. I don't want to put two down on either side, but we won't do that right now. Okay, there we go. Let's see how this works. Wait, it doesn't have... Do I really... Am I out of power? No, it doesn't say I'm low on power. Huh. Well, let me go ahead and just connect this to, like, that over there. There we go. Okay, I bought scan for components, for ammo, for explosives. You have to actually go and pick up them. But they don't bring it to you, but we can go ahead and search for, like, copper. Okay, so now you just wait for the iBot to locate some copper, and then you go and follow the iBot to the copper. Okay, I'm not going to mess with that right now, but that's what that does for you. Now let's go ahead and store these nades. And let's go ahead and store all my extra drugs. Day Tripper, Jet, Mentats. Okay. Um, I don't know uh, what else to do in this episode i think we may be all good and might just call it um an episode here and then the next one we will go to i'm thinking the uh the red rocket truck stop we're gonna do that one in the next episode and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um we'll go ahead and just do some robot building and customizations and stuff like that and just see how it looks and I'll probably do it at the Red Rocket because there's uh there's less space. I don't need a lot of space, and I want to have all my robots kind of there. I wish you could do robots like you could do power armor. Like, I wish I could set up a robot, like, right here and have them, and, like, power them off and have them just there until I powered them back on. But, alas, we cannot do that. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. We finished up the DLC. There will be one or two more episodes of customization, so keep your eyes out for that. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out.